The following video addresses the basic maintenance and repair of the Series 719 Backflow Prevention Assemblies, sizes 1 half through 2 inch. Before beginning any work, please familiarize yourself with these procedures to avoid harming yourself or damaging the valve. A copy of these instructions, as well as specification sheets, repair kit ordering information, and additional product resources can be found online at watts.com. To open and inspect your valve, you will need a wrench, a flathead screwdriver, a Phillips head screwdriver, and an FDA approved lubricant. The 719 Backflow Prevention Assembly features two check assemblies, differentiated as the number one and number two checks respectively. Each check features a cover o-ring, a spring, a check disc holder assembly, which includes the check disc rubber, a check disc washer and a disc screw, the check seat, and finally, the seat o-ring. Start by shutting down the system by closing the outlet and inlet ball valves. Relieve the pressure trapped within the assembly by slowly opening the number 4, number 3, and number 2 test cocks. Loosen the check valve cover with a wrench and finish on threading by hand. Be aware, each of the checks features a heavy spring load which may eject quickly as the cover is removed. Remove the check cover along with the cover o-ring, the spring, the disc holder assembly, and the seat. Each check component should be inspected to ensure the correct operation of the unit. In order to inspect the rubber, first disassemble the disc holder as shown. Start your inspection by rinsing each check component to remove any dirt or debris. Dry thoroughly before proceeding. Closely inspect the disc rubber for any nicks, cuts, or hidden debris. If one side of the rubber is damaged, it can be flipped and reinstalled temporarily until new repair parts are available. If both sides are damaged, it should be replaced immediately before reinstallation. Reinstall the washer and reconnect the assembly with the screw. Likewise, inspect the seat and seat o-ring. Replace if necessary. Reinstall the o-ring around the base of the seat. Finish by inspecting the cover o-ring and reinstalling it around the cover. After your inspection, lubricate both the cover and seat o-rings before reinstallation. Place the seat module into the body seat bore. The seat module will be properly engaged later in the procedure. As the check cover is threaded onto the valve, reinstall the disc holder and replace the spring, ensuring that it sits properly on the disc holder. Place the cover onto the spring with the internal guide on the cover positioned within the end coil. Screw the cover into place and tighten with a wrench. With the first check inspected and repaired as needed, repeat the previous procedure for the second check. With the valve reassembled, Restart the system by first slowly opening the inlet ball valve halfway. Close the number 2, number 3, and number 4 test cocks as water begins to flow continuously through the open port, purging all trapped air from the valve and allowing you to safely finish opening the inlet and outlet ball valves. For more information on local startup and testing procedures, consult your local municipality or manufacturer's representative.